Hey guys, this is James from Squid Gaming, and today I'm going basically to be talking about the uh, Technic Pack, which I haven't sort of done much with for quite a long time, but they have a launcher now, which they have had for quite some time, I just haven't really been paying attention. So if you go to uh, technicpack.net, I'll put a link in the description, um, you can download this Technic Launcher, which is just such a useful thing. It can launch the Technic Pack, uh, Techit, which I believe is the server side stuff for the Technic Pack, uh, the Yogbox, the Voxel Mod Pack with uh, Voxel Sniper and um, all that extremely useful stuff, the uh, that new hack slash mine mod that you guys might have seen, and also just vanilla Minecraft. Um, and some of these come with included texture packs, I believe the voxel mod pack does, maybe the hack slash mine, I can't remember. But I'll just be doing the technique pack right now. Um, click mod select and it'll open up a mod loader file. I've turned millionaire off because I'm not a big fan and it makes it quite laggy compared to if you don't have it on and yeah then you just log in normally if you haven't already played one of these it'll download the stuff like if you just had a Minecraft update looks slightly different because it's in this nice launcher and then it will come up with this okay so um this is just looks like normal Minecraft, but this will have all of the mods you selected on. Whoa. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to open up my world. Awesome. This is a legitimate world, which is possibly a mistake. It's bloody intense. Um, yeah, good, it's daytime. <laughs> I may notice I have a lot of axes. This is my quarry, my incredibly slow quarry uh, from Buildcraft because it's being powered by a single steam engine which is running out of fuel. I should probably go fix that. Um, so yeah, then there's, I believe this is from uh, Thalmcraft, this purple stuff. I may be mistaken but I'm fairly sure that's what it is. And this is the taint. And you see these purple sheep? They try to kill you. I, I didn't expect that. Although when you shear them, you do get purple wool. But they're trying to kill you in the process. Um, I, I probably won't go through all the mods. There's a, there's a volcano over there. There's a little bit of lava at the top, but not very much. Not as much as I would expect from a volcano. Um, there's a sheep somewhere. Has a raised minimap up the top, right? Oh, there it is. Um, I also have tree capitator on. Some people prefer to turn this off. And the main reason that people turn it off is, especially on the Technic pack, is that with industrial craft you have the uh, chainsaw, which is an advanced piece of equipment that does the same thing as the tree capitator mod. But also, with jungle biomes, it chops down the entire full-size 2x2 jungle tree. I just got, what is that, 79 logs. And that's not even all of it, there's some stuck up there. There we go, 80. So it's a little bit overpowered in jungle biomes, which I happen to spawn in one. So, tree capitator is probably not the most um, balanced mod anymore because of jungle biomes. Um, but yeah, I, I won't go into too much more boring detail. I'll do mod spotlights on some of these mods later. Ooh, a tree grew. Um, but yeah, so basically, what I did to launch this just from my uh, desktop is all you have to do to get all of these mods installed automatically. There is a few bugs and occasionally you will get 
crashes when you sleep or change your texture pack and stuff. But it's usually pretty good, and it's just sort of save regularly. Maybe back up your file if you do something incredible, because it could get corrupted. But on the whole, I haven't had any problems with it yet, and I've been playing on this world for quite a while. I've had enough time to build a quarry, which takes a very long time. Ooh, lots of logs. So yeah, that was the most ridiculous tree ever. Um, I don't have a sword on me. Oh yeah, it also includes, this is uh, not enough items, not too many items. Which, when you go to options here, you can put into recipe mode, which is what I have it in now, which I'll show you. Uh, utility mode, I'm not actually sure what this does. Uh, it's the same. I think that's sort of halfway between cheat mode, which is just, that's basically exactly the same as too many items. But I use recipe mode. Which when you click on one, it'll just give you the recipe for how to create that item if you can uh, create it. Doesn't seem to work. Cake. These are all the uh, red power um, stuff. Use your handsaw. Um, you got your build craft, refineries, pumps, and everything. Then hit escape, you go back, and escape again. That's a very useful mod. It means you don't have to go. Uh, find out which mod an item's from, then look up its wiki and then find out how to create it. You just find it in the list and click on it and you've got the recipe. So that's very useful. Um, but yeah, it's a very immersive experience because it's just so easy to install, no long figuring out lots of mods that are compatible and then installing them all. It's just such a great thing to do, especially when it includes, uh, you know, the Yog box and the Voxel mod pack and everything. That's my Nether portal. It does also have in uh, the not in some the Sonmia mod, which is very useful for things like build craft, because while you're sleeping, everything continues to work. Although this appears to run out of fuel now, so that's not too helpful. Um, but yeah, this is getting a bit rambly now, so I uh, hope you enjoyed it guys, and if you did, and you like the look at this, please go to uh, technicpack.net and download the Technic Launcher, and you can have some nice, easy uh, time with these mods without having to know or be bothered how to install them. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. And uh, also, on that note, uh, Dan will should be releasing a video uh, for League of Legends Jungling Skana, where he gets a fairly decent score and uh, carries the shit out of his team. So that should be up shortly after this video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.